So guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm in a very special place. I'm in the Valley of Benasque. I'm in Spain, in probably one of the best, if not the best, places to ride enduro bikes. We have some sick mountains down here and uh, it has a lot of altitude with some peaks almost 3,000 meters where we're gonna drop. We're gonna do some shuttles and then we'll have to pedal a little bit more to get to the top of a peak. I'm here with my buddy, Mark. Hey, yo. And yeah, we're ready to send it. Welcome to Benasque. So we just took the ch shuttle to the beginning of a ski lift. Uh, the ski resort is closed and there's no biker here. So what we decided to do is to pedal a little bit higher to, to, get, to start in a trail that starts a little bit above for, from where they have just uh, left us. It is cool to have this option because it means that you can do uh, like very big trails, really alpine stuff without having to like suffer a lot. Because if you think about it, if you have to do like all the the road before you get to the mountain and then you have to mm -hmm. climb all the way to the top mm -hmm. it means that you're gonna do at least at maximum one trail per day and in this case we're doing three what we're doing is like we're taking one where we pedal up a little bit and then we take two where we just uh start where the shuttle lifts us uh it is cool this way because we have like one that has a little bit of a longer activity and in this sense it makes the day a little bit longer and then uh, the other two are just really good descents. The thing about uh, about this region, it's quite gnarly in the sense that it, it's really rocky and it's uh, really technical. The descents are really long, so it's really important to be physically ready. In this case, I am a little bit quick lately. I haven't ridden as much as I would like lately, but I'm still enjoying. Like, a, come on, look at this beautiful place and it's really nice to be able to do these kind of activities. It's really special. You're like riding stuff that nobody else does. It's really, really long descents. They are on average, each one over a thousand meters of elevation, each descent. For example, now we're doing like uh, one that's a little bit shorter and I think it's like 850 meters or almost a thousand actually. Then the next one we're gonna do, they drove us all the way to the top and it's um, a really nice one. It's called Integral del Gallinero. Uh, it is the most mythical one. It's like 1.4 thousand meters of descending in around uh, 10 kilometers. So it's like a super gnarly big trail. And then we're doing the last one, which is uh, around 1,000 meters. So uh, we'll just like be showing you the experience and how it looks. This place is so, so beautiful. I really love being here, especially with, uh, when I'm with friends that I have ridden the whole life with and it's yeah, it's really cool to be back here, to be back in Spain, to be back with friends and being able to share it with you guys. So I'm gonna go there and I snap a little bit of video because this place is so sick. And then we're gonna head down the first trail of the day. Let's go.
Buah, qué guapo, loco. Buah. Hey you, up there, sorry for interrupting. If you like this video, I would like you to give to us your favor. Please click that button that says like, it is good for the algorithm. And the net one next to it, subscribe, and also the bell one. I know that most of you guys are not subscribed to the channel because the insights from the channel can tell me that 70% of the viewers are not followers. So please, if you can give us your like and your subscribe, it will help us a lot. It doesn't cost you anything and it's massive for us. And now, yeah, back to the video. Sorry for interruption. So we just arrived to the top of Integral del Gallinero. It's probably my favorite trail on this area. It's really cool. Um, it's also the longest one. We start descending at 2,400 meters. And I think we arrive at 750 or 800. I know it's 1,400 meters of descending non-stop and it has like a lot of different stuff. Like here in the beginning, we have a lot of alpine stuff like super fast open then there's a section that which is called the mini utah it's a little ridge in the mountain where the dirt it's like this like reddish color which is so grippy super nice and it just rained yesterday so i think it's gonna be in prime condition and then finally we get into the woods with some loamy sections and then like some more technical stuff with a lot of roots and rocks and overall it's a super complete descent it has a little bit of everything that you, you would like in a descent and also like the, the starting point is amazing. We're here uh, almost at the top of the mountain. It's so cool to be surrounded by these massive peaks. We can also see that there's a lot of animals like cows and stuff like that. I know it feels different because it's not just going and riding a trail that you normally can see doing whatever local trail you have around you. It's a completely different perspective. Like you're like in this high mountains with uh, big, big descents and uh, you're not rushing it too much. You, you need to take it easy. You need to be sure that you take care of your bike because having a mechanical here is pretty messed up in the sense that if you lose a lot of time, it's also pretty hot. The day starts going, you know, and the sooner you finish the, the day, the sooner you start recovering. Uh, in this case today, for example, we decided to pull out the last descent because it is really hot and uh, they're really physically demanding. All of the trails are pretty technical. So in this case, we thought that the best idea would be that we just stop now because uh, at the end of the day, if you think about it, you need to enjoy and to have fun. And if you're completely wasted, the next day you're not gonna want to ride. And uh, yeah, also yesterday we had a pretty big day on the bike. Uh, I didn't feel that much yesterday because I was uh, uh, getting used to the to the terrain. Uh, I've been here before, but uh, since I'm living in Denmark, I have not been riding like rough stuff like this and so long descents and so demanding in all the senses, like technically and physically, that it's hard to just like go full speed the first day. Also, I'm carrying the, uh, the backpack for the camera and the drone. So it's a little bit out of weight and um, yeah. But now we're gonna start. There's a really nice descent waiting for us. Yeah, we're super excited for it. Are you ready to send it, boy? Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Boop, boop, boop.
So guys, we just end up the day. It was pretty crazy actually. It is super hot right now and the last downhill was like super super gnarly. Uh, there were a lot of technical steps and uh, it was really dry and dusty, really loose. And at the same time, uh, it was really, really hot. So it was really physically demanding. Overall, I would say that this last two days have been great um, it it demanded the best of each one of us like we had to do everything uh, as, as good as we could and uh, yeah it's uh, it's pretty crazy to be down here and uh, thinking that now I'm in the pool and I can see the downhill I just made from a really big mountain and uh, it's really impressive I will leave the link in the description of the uh, uh, shuttle service website and also I will leave down in the description too the website from the tracks. It is a website called Puro Pirineo or like the area it's called Puro Pirineo and it's in the north of Spain, uh, pretty close to the border with France and uh, yeah it is one of the best places to do and do all. I think I can't come up with a more demanding place and yeah it was really cool to be back and uh, do some good stuff tonight we're moving to the next spot it's called the valley of aran it's a super nice place we're gonna do a pedaling day first and then we're gonna do also shuttles on sunday um, the difference basically it's the kind of dirt kind of terrain here it's like super alpine and rocky and dusty and rough and uh, the other on the other valley it's like more like low me it's also pretty gnarly but it's pretty nice hey, yo I think you overheated the motor today a little bit come come hard hard <laughs> so guys if you enjoyed enjoyed the video give us a like and a subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it gives me a lot to keep going keep doing these videos Morgas tomorrow. See you boys. Yo.